in the in the yeah. in the in the post quarantine era. I mean, really, rather, always one of those players where like when I was coming in, like always like in the conversation for PR. But now, like they're really exactly they're really exactly. they're really going crazy. But with Sora now, um, known for their duck hunt, now going pretty ham with Sora, pretty much getting you know the same results, uh, you know, same level of consistency as with duck hunt and the other characters that they've tried. Yeah, the sword yeah. is pretty solid, so we will see if, uh, oh, oh no, they're, they're chilling. Okay, they're chilling. oh my goodness. They're chilling. Why, why am I even worried? It's Sora. Yeah, no, it's, it's Sora just has such an insane ability to get back. We are going to see, uh, though, you know, they can get back to the ledge, but can they, can they get back to the middle of the stage? And right now, like we mentioned that previous set with, uh, Ralphie and, uh, Car XM, uh, Sora. Ralphie's ability to just keep keep them at the ledge is just uh, pretty pretty insane. But yeah. <laughs> uh, Zane obviously a lot more comfortable. And honestly, compared to the game that we saw Ralphie play um, not too long ago, they're they're playing um, soft, not softer, but yeah, I, more I, patient 100%, than yeah. they were before. Not they have to like keep their eyes open because Zane is an incredible player, and mm -hmm. you cannot underestimate them. 100%. Yeah, definitely putting a lot of respect on Zane with with the way that uh, Ruth is playing right now. Um, Zane getting the first stock though, and we are going to definitely see some some pretty crazy advantage with Zane because they're one of the players like even with Duck Hunt, like they would they would take a lot of their stuff to the limit. And you know if you follow them on Twitter you see like their crazy sword combos. But once again, Ruth simply out here with uh, with excellent play. At keeping his opponents off the ledge, and, and that's getting him the kill right there. Honestly, nice. I just have to say that Ruth had, is doing so good. I just like two framing with mm -hmm. those um, yeah, yeah, yeah. dash attacks. For sure, like, all day we've been seeing that. Every time I think like, oh, that's not gonna work, mm -hmm. and it works, it does. and Ralph knows exactly what to do. Yeah, for sure. And we have Zane with a, a bit more of a uh, dominant presence in the center of the stage at the very moment. Ooh, coming back with the cross slash, interesting. Yeah, nice up B. That's definitely going to be pretty useful in swatting Sora out of the sky uh, in situations where they're not as safe as they'd like to be. A lot of Sora's uh, game plan revolves around like hit, sometimes you know hitting your shield with the uh, with the nair or the fair, and then like kind of drifting wow. away and see what you do. But Cloud, one of those characters that's just going to have none of that wow. and just up B. Yeah, no, I'm I'm all too familiar with those. Uh, Zane crazy was like, "Yeah, thunders. we're not going to yeah. let you just." Yeah like charge up like that no way yeah. you're gonna get thunder yes uh sora has a lot of like funny wow. interactions at the ledge to say the least with uh with his b moves like faraga the blizzaga and the thunder they're they're all pretty good at uh ooh. wow i like looked away for a hot second yeah. and it was out i mean maybe you tried to like snag him off the ledge real quick and just uh I don't know. That little thing that Sora does is like, looks so like annoying to what? deal with. The that, like um, bounce off the shield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was it's, like, man, every time I see a Sora do that, I yeah. just like, it's, it's a little frustrating to play against for sure. Cause it's like, wait a minute, what game are we playing? Like, this isn't how characters move. Ralph doing a pretty good job of handling though. Like I said, like with, with Cloud Uppy, like you're just, you know, you just kind of just ignore a lot of a lot of quirky interactions. Once again, though, that Blizzard coming. Oh mm. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, straight. Yeah. Zane ready with that up smash. Um, Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Then I realized I was like, oh wait, where did they go? Yeah. I mean, that Blizzard. That's more of like I don't know. I'm not quite sure if you can react to when your opponent gets out of it. Uh, but you could definitely react if they get out of it in Nair instead of like air dodge or something like that. So pretty, pretty tough situation for Ruth to be in in the first place. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now we have um, Zane um, banning FD and Smashville, honestly. Ooh, you know what? I, I don't even think we caught that. That's two out of three of their kills with that Blizzaga into, um, mm -hmm. into like, you know, I think they did back air and then up air there catching them out of that. Uh, the, the stun, the freeze duration is actually really not that big. So a lot of times, like, you might just be able to get out of it, depending on 
I think it depends on how much the, the freeze actually hits you and, you know, percent. I'm not sure exactly what it's based on, but a lot of times you can get out of those situations a bit faster than I think Ralph was. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, now we're in to, Battlefield without the top without platform. Without the top platform. Um, oh man, we I haven't seen a lot of like those up the out of shields. Yeah. Um, and the moment we saw it, it didn't really exactly. Oh. And um, here, um, here, um, yeah, here's the Twitter clip right excuse here. Excuse me. Here's the Twitter clip. Ooh, you know what? That was a, that was a nice attempt. I, I was I was pretty nervous watching Limit Cloud just dash at Sora mm -hmm. off stage. Ooh, spot dodging. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. good. Okay. Yeah, really good awareness to know that the end lag on that move is just like atrocious. Like you can you can really just do whatever you want after that. So Ralph getting himself a really early kill. Oh, nice. Oh, you truly hate to see it. You truly do hate to see it. Um, you know, luckily his, his two SDs have been at like 130, so you can't beat yourself too much off for that. Mm -hmm. Catching uh, <clears throat> catching Zane jumping, pretty nice. Uh, I think he's doing the uppy a lot more than he did in the first game. Maybe not a lot, but like, you can see that he he has a, a, a better handle on when Zane is going to jump or because he's doing it preemptively more now, which he wasn't doing. Ooh, and catching him. You know, I feel like we've been wanting. The, uh, I feel like Ruth's been wanting to do those moves. Yeah. Those uh, limit blade beams mm -hmm. to like hit like the the tip of the opponent's heads. Mm -hmm. And finally, we see finally, it in action. Finally, yeah, they, they they caught him. So there you go. Wow. Right there. Nice, nice extension on the platform. Ruth sitting at a pretty good spot right now, but. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, uh, Ruth really either just makes an amazing play or like a, such a near near miss with these uh, with these limit plays. Overall, mm -hmm. doing pretty good though. You can't, you know, miss 100% of the shots you don't take, of course. Yeah, and, and Ruth's timing and aiming with those backers whenever Zane like peeks their head in just a mm -hmm. tad bit off oh, the ledge. Oh yeah, 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 come on, that's we, like. We, I, I feel like I was like, okay, he's gonna up me. And then I was like, wait a minute, Sora actually has a counter. Yeah, I mean, Cloud's most defining um, weakness is their recovery. Yeah. Or rather their lack of. The lack of recovery. Yeah, like uh, right there, you got out of the, the Blizzaga really quickly. Ooh, down air out of shield. That's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of Clouds try to do down air because it has such a lasting hitbox. Yeah, it lasts yeah, forever. For sure. And speaking of lasting forever, Ooh, this Zane is a tough really shot. tried to just um, stall their way into the stage because, you know, that limit's only for nine seconds. Might as well take your time in getting back on stage. I thought it was 11. Was it 11? Ooh, I might That's be what wrong. I've heard. I could be wrong, though. I might be wrong. I thought it was like 11 or 13. Oh, 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 maybe oh he's out. Refit. He's yeah, out. He oh, wait, no, oh, no, never he's mind. Living. He's living. Wow, I didn't see the jump coming out from him. Okay. All right, so... Getting that... Zane making Forward making the throw. percent deficit a lot better than it was before, but you know he's still ooh, he was still one. Yeah, and it's so interesting to see Ruth prioritize um, charging limit over edge guarding Zane yeah. uh, onto the stage. I mean, you know, he's getting most of his edge guards from the limit itself. Right. So it makes sense to uh, to charge it up because ooh, oh, and once yeah. again. You know what? That's so good. You again that. Mm -hmm. Getting that two frame on the dash yeah. attack. Cloud on the ledge, such a, or Cloud ledge trapping you, such a scary position, especially at that percent. Good stuff to Ralphie for uh, recognizing, oh, he's, you know, he's chilling on the ledge, or she's chilling on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, let me get in there. That so good, sucks good that, um, death from there. And honestly, both players are so incredible. It goes both ways each time. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we got the FB and, and FB2 slash Kalos band. <laughs> FB2 with some wings. Ooh. Yeah, that counter was just just great awareness of uh, what Ralphie was going for. But we're back to Battlefield. Oh, Here wow. We are. Honestly. Back are just going through the Faraga. Uh, I feel like every time Zane goes to game three, they choose the song Desperate Struggle. It's like... um in Mario Kart when you're in your final lap and it's, then the song uh, speeds yeah. up by two. <laughs> yeah. This is Zayn's song to like take I, it seriously. I always personally pick the uh on PS2, what's it called? Like the Soul Gale Oh yeah, Soul Galia versus That's Lunala just like song. I don't know. It's like a comfort pick. Like if it's not on, I'm like, wait. 
I, I buy swords gladiator. Yeah, but not. anyway, back onto the game. Yeah. Limit cross slash not taking it. Honestly, that's I kind of surprising like, to me. I feel like an F smash was possible there. Maybe, you know, just not. I mean, oh, I, I, I assumed it was going to kill personally, but mm -hmm. I guess that was what Ruth was thinking as well. Oh my well. goodness. You saw that lasting hitbox on Cloud's mm -hmm. down. Air, that's incredible, that's yep. insane. Yeah, and for a character like against Sora, like where they're gonna spend, ooh, just slightly missing the spacing. But yeah, a character like Sora that's gonna spend a lot of time in the air, having those lasting hitbox outs that are also like all bigger than a lot of Sora moves, it's gonna be huge. Uh huh, Root's um, back air movements is so good. It's Whenever so good, Zayn yeah. um, air dodges or they jump from ledge mm -hmm. or they roll away. There's always a back air that comes with it. Yeah, and he's just so good at placing them. Like, a lot of people, you know, part of getting to the next, like, level of play is really getting, like, the micro spacing down and, and the timing down and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, I mean, Ruth playing Cloud for quite a, quite a while. Right. So definitely going to be very good at that. And even, wow, using the move to catch the full hop, pretty, pretty incredible stuff. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, Zane's starting to catch on to the fact that uh, Ruth wants to preemptively uppy, so you see mm -hmm. him tomahawk shielding. But it actually kind of goes both ways because Ruth is up being out of shield because yeah. Zane consistently jumps on mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the air and you want to catch something to catch in the yep, air. Yep, so that's just that's just part of the, uh, the mix-up tree that we got going on here, the adaptation that these players are... And Ralph's back here, I can't get over it. They're like, oh, there They're it is. So good. The little bit of a stall because, mm -hmm. you know, the longest 9 slash 11 seconds. Oh, man. I believe that 127, 125 is when up the kills. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guaranteed. That's like the move that Cloud is it a, for. Is it a. Like. It doesn't depend on the character, or are you talking about for Sora specifically? Um, I don't think. Well, maybe for Sora it's a little lower because yeah, he, yeah. he's a little lighter. But um, generally for like medium-sized characters, the average mm. is 125. Right. Sora a bit of a lighter character though, so I'm, I'm honestly surprised that didn't kill. Exactly. I guess it was, was a little, bit, like little bit before. And honestly, now we see Ruth um, catching Zane in the air. We yeah. got um, that stop right there. Even though up B. Um, Klim Hazard, I believe. Thank you. Climb Hazard. Um, Limit Climb Hazard didn't take the stop. Mm -hmm. um, it was Zane's jump into Ruth's um, charged up smash that took the stop. Yeah. Right now, even stocks. I mean, Sora, a character that can definitely rack on the percent. Already at 30 after like one uh, interaction. Ruth kind of playing. All right, now he's in the center of the stage. Before he was, he was, he was looking a little scary in the corner. Maybe you know, just trying to play a little like hit and runny. Uh, you know, because he knows uh, he does. He definitely does not want to get into a situation I, I, like I, this I, where he's taking I, you know thirty to forty percent. Oh Ooh. man, trying to catch the roll in order. To yeah. Thing, but not taking not. it, and honestly. Right now, this is where Ruth wants to play. Um, yeah, you gotta be, be more careful. secure about what's gonna be happen. Because I mean, you're not at the the point where like your back air is. Uh, maybe now at the ledge, your back air is gonna kill. So like, you still need to play in a mode where you're you're racking on the percent primarily. Oh wow. I mean, you know, but kind of quote unquote wasting that limit. But Zane takes so much so long to get back to the stage that Ruth is just gonna. Be able to charge again. That was scary. Yeah. I feel, yeah. Oh, ooh, and the dash attack. The dash attack. Gonna take it. That was movement. so close. That was that very, was so very good, good on both yeah. parts. Yeah. I was getting a little nervous for Ruth there. Uh, looked like, you know, when the percents start climbing and and your opponent has rage, and you know it's game three, last last stock. You know, it, it can get a little scary. But I mean, Ruth just just playing pretty patiently. You know, didn't panic when he got hit. Managed to get out of that situation with the Nair in the center of the stage because that could have been bad. That could have been an up smash and that could have been his stock. But uh, we got we got Ruth Big chilling, waiting, hitting the dash tack, and it's a wrap. Good mm -hmm. stuff. Really, this was like peak adrenaline, mm -hmm. the hypest moment, yeah. the climax of the story. Um, they both played incredible. <clears throat> yeah. You definitely could see. I mean, I'm sure these are two players that have played time and time again. Uh, but even then, you can see, you know, the adaptation. 
from yeah. both of them. They definitely yeah. have some sort of history with each other. Yeah, for sure. And, and you can see that in their play, both respecting each other a lot. Um, Zane mixing it up towards the end, not getting hit by as much uppies, but at that point, you know, it was, uh, it was Ruth who's going to take it. Okay, but here right now are... Just needed to make sure. <laughs> and right now, as much as you love um, Milchi and Petco, um, it's time to go. It's time to dip. Um, everyone, say thank you for 